Well, welcome back to the vlog. This is our second attempt at a vlog and uh, we're going to head over to the timber yard just to grab some posts. So I was trying to salvage those ones from the chicken run but um, I think it's going to be best to start with some fresh posts and reuse the rest of the timber. Okay, just arrived and uh, this place is called Charlton's and it um, specialises in really high-end gates and, and things like that and it makes it for all the royal estates. Um, but uh, we're here for just standard fencing timber today. So I'll uh, take you around and uh, see what we can find. We're going for low budget, low cost. I mean, these chickens are pretty sport as it is. <laughs> Right, back at the ranch. I'm gonna have to leave it a few hours, go and do some real work, and uh, then hopefully I'll free up a, an hour or so later to get some of these in. Okay, not the best of weather today, but we promised them a pizza tonight, so uh, we've also got some friends coming over for dinner, so we're gonna have a bit of a pizza oven party tonight. So everything stayed pretty dry now, I've got it all covered up, um, but there's still an issue with water that's falling on the countertop, and I think it's soaking into the base slightly, so. I've had it open for a few days or two days now just to get some airflow and the, s the sun's been out so it's, uh, it's getting pretty dry in there. Okay. Back down there please. Does, does the slow speed not work anymore? Yeah. Alright, go on then, Faye. <laughs> oh, you gonna sit there and let Eden drive. <laughs> go on, then you push your foot down. Good girl. Well done, Faye. Eden will take you for a drive now. Charlie, you come out of the way. Hi now. Quick, quick, so I need to get these pizzas on. Hold on. So when it comes to building the little fire that I push in, I build it first and then slide it in once it's lit. Um, and we'll put a base of these on there just in case the floor is a little bit damp, it keeps it off it. Now it's time to get my uh, little blowpipe. So I'm not sure if we're going to get these posts in today. It's already pretty late and we, I forgot we were hosting uh, some friends for dinner. Um, but I'm going to use the auger again, um, which I raved about last year and that's how I set all the picket fencing. So we'll do a couple of holes just to uh, whet your appetite and then we'll do this as a standalone little project in the next day or two. Making sure we've got enough of a walkway. So without 
heavy machinery or a tractor, I don't really know of many easier methods than that. You know, post hole digger or a spade, everything takes longer. So uh, this is the tool for us. So that's our six inch hole. I think what I'll do is just drop a spade down the edge of that concrete and then we've got something flat to either sit the posts or the gravel board against. All right now, chicken, don't fill that hole in before tomorrow. Ready for your pizzas? Two, yes, thank you. What are you going to have uh, on your pizza? Uh, I'm going to make it myself. And what are you going to put on it? Um, you're going to see when I put it on it. Careful, you're going to pull off the step. Well done. Okay, first batch of pieces is ready, or at least made. Let's check on this fire. A bit better. So in there, you can see like the top of the dome's gone quite light. It was black. That basically means it's getting up to temperature. And if we just shoot our little laser at the back there, it's about 400 Celsius. So that's pretty much fine for pizzas and the base is 250 so it'll be a little bit hotter I'm going to push the fire to the back I definitely need some sort of wire brush on a pole it's pretty hot in there you can just like sacrifice a pizza like stick it in there and let it pick up the dust but we'll use a wet rag on a post on a pole but we're working with what we got that's pretty clean now on there um just a tiny bit of like ash dust but it's a little bit of flavor Well, they're the same weight, they're just different shapes. 